Hey everybody, this is Captain Kyle again, and I'm here with yet another Doctor Who prop review. Now, in this case, we're going to be reviewing four different props from Doctor Who that are not Sonic Screwdrivers, and at the end, we'll have a bonus with a Doctor Who item that has never been in the show, as far as I'm aware. Be right back. All right, so to get started, the first item that we have is the 10th Doctor's Fob Watch. This was in the episode Human Nature and the Family of Blood. Ooh. This is a packaged one. I happen to have an unpackaged one right here, thanks to Maiden Cosplay. I'm going to show you what this is like. This is a very neat little prop. Uh, this was made by Character options, it is part of the Chameleon Arch, which allows a Time Lord to pretend to be human. I hope I didn't spoil anything for anybody, but the episode's been out so long. Anyways, um, it is made out of plastic. It has a nice standard chain. Right here we have a cat. He is not part of the Chameleon Arch, but he's very interested in this watch. So when you open it, it does have a working watch inside. But listen to those sounds. I dream quite often that, that I have two hearts. I'm not just a time lord. I'm the last of the time lord. So it is a pretty neat uh, device with lots of noises and lights. <laughs> Trying to press it multiple times doesn't really do anything extra. I dream quite often that, that Here we go again. It's a cool thing to have. It's neat that it has the David Tennant voice in it. See ya. I guess it would be neat for most cosplay. Really up to you. However, whereas this is a cool device, they actually have the Master's Fob Watch, which looks very similar, but this is metal. It is a bit smaller. There's the size comparison. But whereas this is plastic and electronic, this is metal. I actually think it would be a better prop. Now, I've seen online pictures of the Masters as being in gold. I'm not sure if it's actually been released as gold. If you have a gold one, let me know. And it does have a working timepiece inside. And pressing the button, it does light up. It's a functional piece. It looks more like a real watch and not made out of plastic, um, released by the same company. And this is the one that I would actually use if I was going to cosplay either the Doctor or the Master and use the fob watch. Very cool. Little story about getting the Master's fob watch. Now, I haven't had this very long. I bought it very recently from a store called Comics and Stuff. They're through Amazon. And I ordered it, and what did they send me but one of these? Now, everyone makes mistakes, not a big deal. I contacted them right away, told them I was going to be doing a video. They were kind enough to send out a new one very quickly, the actual piece that I needed, and I sent them back their fob watch because I'd already ordered one from someone else. And they were so kind after their error that they sent me this as a nice little bonus. So I like to shout out to customer service. Not every company is perfect, but they not only got me what I needed very quickly, but they included a little bonus. And uh, in case you haven't heard the sounds on this. Exterminate! Exterminate! You are an enemy of the Daleks. You must be destroyed. Well, that's not very nice. Anyways, um, just wanted to mention, and this is a cool little item. Put in your pocket, uh, freak out people on the 
train, the bus, the trolley, whatever you happen to go on. But moving on, this is two of the items. But speaking of human nature in the family of blood, there is another item. It is called the Journal of Impossible Things. Now, the one in the actual episode was larger, but this is kind of a neat thing. When you open it up, it does have the actual illustrations. And from what I read, the person who made this for the episode made it under the condition that it could be released in other formats. So it has the same illustrations that the John Smith persona, human persona of the doctor, put in here, same handwriting. And I have to say, looking at this handwriting, the human version of the doctor, horrible penmanship, horrible. Not easy to read. You can make out some of the words. And they give you this nice little mini sonic screwdriver. Now, I thought it might be different than the one that came with the Vortex Manipulator, Captain Jack Harkness's device. However, it appears to be exactly the same. It is actually quite bright. And uh, if you're in a darkened room, you can use it to scan stuff. I don't believe this is a black light, but it does have a ability to come apart. It also has a pen. The Journal of Impossible Things actually has some blank pages in the back. So you could use this pen to also use bad penmanship and maybe draw some pictures. I don't think I could do Daleks as well as those, but get the idea. And it is a powerful light in the darkness. You could use it as a uh, emergency flashlight or torch as my UK friends like to call it. So that is the Journal of Impossible Things. Now, our last actual prop that was in the show is the Nano Recorder. This is used by the 11th Doctor when dealing with the silence. It's kind of neat. You pull it back. You have a little light in here that shows up. It might be hard to see with all the lighting around, but it is blinking there. And you can put it to your palm, just as they do in the show, and pull the trigger. It also has a built-in sound recorder. It's kind of neat. If you, uh, well, let's see if there's a message on here already. Pulling the trigger twice will actually play the message. Is that a cat or someone pretending to be a cat? I'll let you decide. But if you hold down the button, this is a message for my future self because I might forget what's going on because of those darn silence people. And now I have a message I might forget what's going on because of those darn silence people. So you can record a message. It's a kind of neat extra for the toy. It's actually what's supposed to happen with the nano recorder in your skin. You could press it to record and then it would actually blink later on when you have a message for yourself. So you can describe what's going on with the silence. But it is kind of neat. It's a injector style gun type thing neat sound effects and i do think it's a neat item in fact if you bring it to a con you could probably go around and just shoot people in the hand and you know just tell them it's just in case of the silence those are the four props that were actually used on the show the fifth thing the bonus item that i have to show you was not actually used on the show i don't know that it ever will be but it's was basically a toy put out to get more of your money. But it is kind of cool. It is the Doctor Who Electronic QLA Anti-Time Device by Character Options. So for a character who doesn't like guns, there seems to be a few gun-looking items in this batch here. Though this is an anti-time device, it's supposed to actually lock your opponent in time, which I guess is better than killing them. Little switch on the bottom turns it on. So this is supposed to be a weapon used by the clerics during a time. It had a little bio on the box talking about how when the doctor disappeared, there was a big battle between the Daleks and the Cybermen and the angels would pick over and scavenge over the uh, dead and dying. 
This was made by the clerics to fight them, and it has three modes. Because right now, if I press the button, nothing happens. I have to go into a mode. Dalek mode is now engaged. Dalek strategy, data pool activated. So now, I could be like a Dalek. So I can exterminate someone with this very nicely. Uh, I don't think I will. I'm, I'm not that kind of person. So you press it a couple times. And that's Dalek mode. You can then switch to... So for the Cybermen... So you could do that to people, delete them. There's a few people I wouldn't mind. And again, this is a switch on the side that I've been pressing in case you haven't noticed. I'm going to switch to... That's kind of creepy. Inside, there's actually a finger of a stone angel or an angel. So you're not supposed to touch it, and I just did. I don't know what's going to happen. I could be okay, I hope. But it makes interesting noises and an interesting blasting noise. So it's a pretty cool prop, pretty cool toy, not something that was used in the show. Sorry, cat. Oh, did I say uh, three modes? I actually meant four, because if you press it one more time, all three lights come up and it has some interesting blasting noises. I guess it's getting them with all three powers. Apparently using it in this mode uses a lot of energy. And holding the button... Power matrix operating at optimal levels, 100%. Wow. This gun talks a lot. Enemy units, time locked. Power matrix operating at 40%. But what you can do with this also is there are some hidden sounds. And I, I watched someone else's video, so I'd... Uh, who also reviewed this particular item. So I wanted to thank him for showing me the hidden sounds, how to access them. I will actually put a link down in the description to his video if you want to check out his review of just this item. And I'd like to show you how to access the hidden sounds in case you don't watch his video. So if you press mode and the trigger and mode again, and hopefully I'll get this right. The Valyard. Now, if you're not that familiar with Doctor Who, it's supposed to be this kind of alternate regeneration of the Doctor that was came across a sixth Doctor during his trial. And there's a whole big story. I'm not going to spoil it for you. But that's a kind of neat extra thing. If I press the uh, mode button and the trigger twice and the mode button again... Yeti, another classic call out. And finally, pressing the mode button, pulling the trigger three times. Pressing the mode button again will bring us. Yet another call out to the classic era with, um, I believe that is a planet that is mentioned. It's a very cool extra. You can use it with. Good thing I already shot the cat. You can use it with any number of your cosplays and it looks very neat. Again, it's not from the show, but it's a fun little bonus. And that's what we have for this video. But keep an eye out, we will have some more videos, including perhaps some more props from the universe of Doctor Who. And I promise you, it will be fantastic. So, uh, thanks for watching. I'm going to turn this off before I shoot another cat. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. As always, have fun and cosplay on.